In this video, I'll be going over the fragrance Tragedy of Lord George by Penhaligons. If you want to find out if the fragrance is a tragedy, stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's Peter from Centrail. If this is your first time on this channel, I want to give you a warm welcome. If you're back, it's good to see you again. On this channel, we talk about fragrances. Designer, niche, perfumers, anything that turns around the world of fragrance. So if you're into fragrances or you just want to smell nice, consider subscribing. Love, like, share, all those wonderful things. Don't forget to hit that little bell button. It lets you know of any further videos. I'm excited to be here. I'm glad that you're here. And now let's look at the fragrance from Penhaligans. The Portraits line from Penhaligans was launched in 2016. Penhaligans has been around since the 1870s. If you're interested in, to, in the history of Penhaligans a little bit, go to their website, penhaligans.com, and go to the Heritage page. It is really wonderfully done, and it, it's kind of interesting to look at, and it'll let you know a little bit more about the history of Penhaligans. How a barber from the 1830s, William Penhaligans, has made its way through the rungs of society and land in the courts of England. It's a really interesting story and it's fun to look at. They did a really good job with it. So if you're interested, it's the heritage site on Penhaligans. It's a good one. Another little caveat that is really awesome from Penhaligans, if you buy a bottle from their site, you can have it engraved with a little saying or a name or something like that. I don't know what they charge for it, but it is kind of interesting and unique that you can have something engraved and personalized for yourself or for someone special. There are also many I would like from Penhaligans. But for a 75 milliliter bottle, you'll pay around 200 pounds or 275 US. And at that price for a 75 milliliter, one has to pace oneself, right? But I did go ahead and purchase my first one from Penhaligans. I don't have any other ones yet. This is my first one. And I went with the one that appealed to me the most because it is truly a majestic one and it is the tragedy of Lord George. But before we get into the fragrance itself, let's take a look at the presentation of the fragrance. The heavy box that the Lord George comes in is covered in a black and white scenery reminiscent of a time in the past with a scene of magic, like the blue winged stag in the front. The entire box is wrapped in this magnificent forest in a gray scale with popping colors. On the back, you will find a few words about the fragrance. Read it, it's quite interesting. It lets you know kind of what they thought when they created this one. So it just slides up like this. And look at the beautiful stag sitting in the center of this box. The presentation is really a 10 for me. Let's take a little closer look before we give it a spray at the actual bottle. So you got the stag on top. Of course, we have the Penhaligans logo on the front. All your information is going to be on the bottom right here. Now the batch code is etched in, it is not a sticker, and the rest of the information is printed on the bottle, so it's not a sticker, just in case you're worried about fakes. The head itself is made out of metal, it is not plastic. Nice little sound to it. It only slides right on top here. There is no click in or anything like that. So after a while, this might give a bit. I would not pick it up by the horn, so to speak. I would pick it up by the bottle and then pull off the head. How about we give this one a spray and see what we get into. Nice, nice, soft and long sprayer. This 2016 creation was crafted by Alberto Morillas. Sometimes simplicity is the best formula. This beautiful stag, the tragedy of Lord George, has only four notes in it. We have some brandy, which is a form of cognac. Then we have some woody notes. And this particular woody note mixture it has some patchouli in it and a hints of vetiver, very light, with the main aroma being woods. And there's also some tonka in here, some tonka bean for a bit of depth and spiciness. And there's also some sweet and soft and smooth amber in this fragrance. And that's it for the notes. As this fragrance develops, 
you will definitely get some warmth and some depth from the cognac at the top. The cognac doesn't last too long or the brandy doesn't last too long at the very beginning. As the fragrance kind of deepens a little bit, it reminds me of maybe a room, um, maybe a hundred years ago, everything is wood. Uh, not with today's modern lacquer, all shiny, but a little bit more of an organic feel. Everybody is super well dressed and a little bit of humidity in the air. And that may be from the cognac barrels or something like that. This is definitely a more mature fragrance, I would say. A well-dressed gentleman, 25 and older perhaps, or maybe a little older than that even, depending on how elegant you can dress yourself. Uh, it is well-dressed, freshly shaved, with a exclusive soap. I really enjoy wearing the tragedy of Lord George. The stages it kind of goes through for me, it's like heavy on the cognac at first, or the brandy. Then it slowly dives into the woody notes with a little bit of humidity in the background. And finally, it gets somewhat soapy with just a hint of Kumarin in the background. So there's a little bit of something in the back. It's all nice and warm, but there's a little bit of something mysterious that peeks through the soap. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's a truly lovely scent. But just like the name implies, the tragedy of Lord George. The tragedy is, unfortunately with this fragrance, that it doesn't last. I mean, four hours is all I got out of this fragrance and it only projects perhaps elbow length. Uh, after that, it is pretty much just a skin scent. Truly tragic. Because of the shortened longevity and the somewhat limited projection that you get from this rather nice smelling soapy gentleman's fragrance with some booze at the beginning and woods in the middle, it's truly a nice fragrance. I enjoy wearing it. What it lends itself to is going to be a dinner. It's going to be something for spring, for fall, uh, for maybe an indoor winter evening. Definitely for a club where you sit, you know, sit and smoke cigars and that sort of thing. It's great for that sort of companionship right there. If you wear this one in the summer, I would say you can pull it off. Just go a little bit easy. I haven't had a chance to wear this one in hot weather yet. Don't know how it's going to behave. But I can see where the soapiness in there, it could work. Just maybe a little easy on the trigger. For a 75 milliliter bottle, like I said earlier, you'll pay you know over $200 even in like the online shops. This fragrance is worth it if you are like me and you like wearing more than one fragrance a day. For me, sometimes four hours is plenty to have a fragrance and smell great, but then I'd like to switch it up depending on what my day brings. I don't often want to wear a fragrance that lasts for 12 hours. Some occasions, yes, but more often than not, I end up with more fragrances than one. So for me, this price point is a little high for what it has and how long it lasts and the protection it gives, but the fragrance itself is 100% gentlemanly, aristocratic even, not too much, just enough. It has a stellar presentation. I mean, it is a perfect 10 right there. Really amazing. It is well built, smells great, and it has a price point to match. If you got anything out of this at all, please do consider subscribing. I wanna thank you in advance. Don't forget to hit that like and share and all those wonderful things. Don't forget to hit that bell button, let you know of any of my further videos. I'm super glad that you were here. Loved spending time with you. Until next time, I want you to take good care of yourself. Always smell nice and I'll talk to you soon. Until then, Centrail, 